Simply put, geology is the science that pursues an understanding of planet Earth. And specifically in this course, physical geology will learn how Earth materials such as rocks and minerals form and how we classify them. We'll also learn how the processes that are operating on the planet help to shape it and produce the unique landforms that we see today, like the devil's backbone behind me. The first interests and murmurings about trying to understand earth processes date back to the early Greeks who observed fossil fish in rocks and wondered about them more than 2300 years ago. For many, many years, the earth's surface was thought to have been the product of supernatural and catastrophic processes. In the 18th century, a Scotsman by the name of James Hutton who is often regarded as the father of modern geology, made some compelling observations in his corner of the world. James Hutton, who was a farmer, physician, and geologist, among other things, was a great observer of nature. He realized that geologic features, such as mountains, are not permanent features. Rather, they have been shaped by the agents of erosion. In addition, he realized that the great thicknesses of sedimentary rock we find on the continents are the products of that erosion, a slow movement of sediment removed from the land and deposited into oceans. This means that the Earth's surface is always changing. It's never the same. To be sure, these were rather bold ideas for the time, ideas that assumed a very, very old Earth that was shaped by processes operating on its surface. This idea, known as uniformitarianism, can be summed up by the phrase, the present is the key to the past. In other words, the processes that we see operating on the Earth's surface today are the same as the processes that we saw operating on the Earth in the geologic past. Using this idea, I can observe sediments moving down a river, and I can see them deposited into gravel and point bars. And then I can go to a rock outcrop like this one. Do you see that it's made up of gravels and pebbles, just like those that I saw in the river? This is a rock that geologists refer to as conglomerate. It's a sedimentary rock. And I know that it was deposited in a river a long, long time ago in the geologic past. It was deposited in that river, the sediments were lithified, and then later uplifted due to plate tectonics. The present is the key to the past. And just as James Hutton asked, what more can we require? Nothing but time. So join me in our exploration of the earth. See you in class.